Hi guys, Helen the Russian here. So continuation um, of the story of $15 return item fee for Uber that I started yesterday. I did, to make a long story short, yes, I did get my $15. However, took me some hoops to jump through and I have to say the way Uber does it, it is a bit insidious. Not to say they fully intended not to ever give it to the driver, but they not going out of their way to make sure that the driver gets it. So, quick recap for those who haven't seen the video. Passengers left their iPhone in my car, I didn't realize. They contacted me 10 minutes later. I agreed to go back to their hotel and return it. I, the passengers asked for my phone number just so we don't get lost or miss each other. So I had their number as well. Um, when I returned the phone that didn't tip, I was not particularly happy. Um, I um, received a call from Uber nearly an hour later asking me about the item. And I told them that I have returned it, which they confirmed. And they said, okay, you returned it? I said, yes. And then I... Um, texted the passenger later that night, um, not demanding anything, but very politely saying, look, I was a bit disappointed to see that you wouldn't appreciate the fact that I went out of my way to return it, which is when passenger sent me the screenshot of Uber app saying that he was under impression that I got $15 for doing it from Uber because Uber charged him, Uber charged his account. He said, I actually would not be able to get in touch with you unless I agreed to that $15 fee which was great to know. So I um, contacted Uber and it took them a while. It took them a few hours, three to four hours. And they messaged me back saying that I have to follow certain steps. And I'll show you in a minute on my Uber app what to do. So you know how to do it because supposedly this $15 return item fee is um, applicable to all the drivers in US. It's not just for Las Vegas, but like I said, you need to follow certain procedures to get it. And when I did follow those steps, they did put it back into my account almost straight away. But the thing of it is, A, I they didn't make it clear that it was due to me. If not for that passenger, I would not have known. And B, they did not explain which steps you need to take. So, for those of you who want to know how to get it, um, it is, according to Uber, it's now good for everyone in US. So I'm going to switch the camera um, to my other phone so you can see what I'm doing. So you obviously go into your Uber app. We'll start from the beginning. Let's see. Yeah, you can't see that. Okay. So first of all, um, the message about that was a bit hidden. It wasn't a separate email about that $15 fee. So it was on, in that um, drop down message menu on the bottom. So like right there, you go there and you come up, you come up and they talk about tricks and treats and that comes up and then you go up, you go up and boom. Lost item return fee. Here we go. So they talk about how you get it and all of it goes to you. So that's fantastic. But clearly without a special notice, not everybody might have seen it. So in order for you to get that fee now, um, you go, you need to go into your trips. Oops, sorry. So you go there, you pick whatever trip it is that you return the item. You go into the trip. You go into trip details, you scroll, you go for help. Okay, I found an item. And see, that's another thing. They weren't very clear when they were talking to me because she said, uh, the message said from some lady that you need to click on I have returned an item. Well, as you can see, there is no, not anything in here saying I have returned an item. Well, you have to click on I found an item. And then you go, I return an item to my rider. And then you click on that. And it's going to ask you for the date, the item returned, and what address the item was returned to. And when you complete all these steps, they will give you your $15. So here you go. So, uh, you know, from message what, where I left it yesterday, I kind of felt that Uber is trying to pocket that $15 fee. So the answer is yes and no. So no, they didn't pocket it when I pressed for it. But unless I knew about it, 
then I would not have gotten it and they charged the passenger. So the passenger definitely paid and um, I may or may not have gotten it had I not went after. Well, I have not, I wouldn't be getting it if I haven't really pressed for it. I have to say it's not the first time Uber, like everybody agrees, all the drivers agree. Lyft generally is a bit better as far as treating the drivers. They're not amazing. They, they still take a huge cut and whatnot, but they are, I, I find they are better. To give you an example, when one October shooting happened in Las Vegas, I, I wasn't there, thankful, I'm very grateful, but I was home in bed, I didn't know anything about it. When I woke up in the morning, though, from Lyft, I had four texts from the previous night when the shooting was happening, four, saying um, there is an active shooter um, across from Mandalay Bay at the Harvest Festival. Please stay away from that area. So that, that shows some concern. There was nothing from Uber. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I'm, perhaps I granted, maybe I just didn't get it and other drivers got it from Uber, but that's the fact. I didn't. And then Lyft, literally the next day, um, they were offering um, rides. I know they were offering passengers various different coupons and free rides um, to go to the um, don uh, blood donation bank and to the hospital. And then I got a message from Lyft saying, look, we understand it's been really stressful for you guys in Vegas. We'll just throw in a bonus for you. If you do at least two rides this week, we'll give you $30 bonus just as thank you for continuing. Because as you can imagine, some people were a bit apprehensive about driving and going out in places where there is a lot of people because no one was sure really what's happening with that shooter. So, and sure enough, I did not have to jump through any hoops at all um, because I was driving that week and I definitely had two rides. I think I definitely had more. And yeah, the $30, they send a nice message at the end of the week saying, hey, we appreciate your effort. There will be $30 in your account. And sure enough, it was. So it is what it is. Take it with the grain of salt. Take it face value. But this is what happened. And now you're all aware. Don't forget about your $15 return item fee. Have a nice one.